Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial on introduction to scripting in Roblox Lua. Today we're going to be covering more about functions. In fact, it will be like the last thing that we cover strictly on functions and what we're going to cover today is returns from a function. A function can return a value and to elaborate in one sentence before I go into the actual tutorial, a function can act a bit like a variable and have a value that changes itself. So let me kind of show how this works. We've done things like local is computer working equals true, local is internet fast equals true, local is having a good day equals true. Or more correct, we've done is computer working and is internet fast because we decided that if your computer is working and your internet is going fast, well then you're probably having a good day. Not necessarily, but let's just keep it that way because it makes sense. So we've done this before and it works pretty well. But I should tell you guys this and I'm actually going to show it rather than tell it we're going to print is computer hold on is computer working equals to string and I don't know if I've covered to string yet but if I haven't um, it's just a built-in function in Lua and what it does is it takes a value can be a variable can be a function as we'll see soon um, and it just spits out its value as a string. So true is going to print out like true, or sorry, true. But this is just a way to keep from having errors happen on variables that might not be strings. And then there. Oh, didn't intend for that. Okay, now we're gonna copy is internet fast and then we're going to copy is having a good day. Why am I doing it that way when I could just copy it? And actually, we're going to throw this in a function. We already understand functions a little bit, so we're going to make this a bit quicker for ourselves. Function print values. And we're just creating a function called print values that prints out the name, an equal sign, and then the value of our three new variables. We're now going to pr do print values. After that, we are going to change is internet fast equal to false because now it just suddenly slowed down. Let's just, let's say it slowed down. And now we're going to print values again. So at first, everything should be true because is, in, is computer working is true. Is internet fast is true. And is having a good day is equal to true and true, making it true. So therefore, is computer working will equal true. Is internet fast will equal true. Is having a good day will equal true. So the first time we print everything, it will print true. Um, is computer working equals true, blah, blah, blah. True, true, true. Then we're going to change is internet fast equal to false. So it's going to say is computer working equals true. Is internet fast equals false. But the key is what will it say for is having a good day? Will it say true or will it say false? Because it said true earlier, but it said true because both is computer working and is internet fast were true. And it depended upon that. Does it change when you change one of its dependencies? And it, when I say dependency, that's not actually a key word in this because I'll explain in a moment after I show you the result. Clear output. Test. Run. Right here I'm highlighting and I'll be zooming in as I edit this video. Is computer working equals true? Is internet fast equals true? Is having a good day equals true? So that's our first run through of the function. Next, we've changed is internet fast to equal false as we see in the script. So we ran through the function once, everything was true. Now we've changed is internet fa fast to false and now we're running through the function again. We now see, is computer working is true? Okay, that's correct. Is internet fast equals false? Okay, correct, we changed the value. But is having a good day is still true. Why? When we go back to the script, is computer working and is internet fast, 
they both say that it should only be true when both of them are true. Not quite. And this is why I'm going over returns from a function. A variable without directly being set again only has its value set once. So this whole thing, when it's set, when you set is having good day, is having a good day equal to is computer working and is internet fast. The first time it runs through that, Lua is just going to interpret that to equal true. It's not. It is not going to go through and calculate that every time you use the variable and that's why variables are fast if you know you only have to calculate something one time well rather than calculating it over and over and over and over in a script it's much easier if you calculate it once and it gives you the same value every time without having to use the proce processing power without slowing the computer down without slowing the user down by doing maybe a complex different calculation over and over and over Here's where having a function, however, for something like a calculation, which I know this doesn't look like math to you guys, but a computer was built to compute, which means to calculate, which means to do math. Basically everything in computers is ultimately going to boil down to a math equation of some sort. This is a math equation. It's saying it is one and one. Are they both equal to one? Because in computers, true and false are also equal to 1 and 0 respectively. So 1 is true and 0 is false. It's bits, booleans, um, and I've gone over that already. So it's a, a calculation of sorts. Now we need that calculation to run every single time and here's how we're going to do that. We're going to copy this, just copy it or cut it and I'll actually do that with the context menu which is when you right click or something uh, it's called the context menu I'll cut it I used control X the first time but um, that's just not always the best way so we're going to define a new function function is having a good day and now we're just going to return and I just pasted it there so let me do that again again with the context menu paste return is computer working and is internet fast? You guys will notice that return is bold and blue. This means it's a key word as I've gone over before. What return does is it takes what comes after you say return and it will return whatever you say as a value. So when you run a function it can actually return a value much like a calculation. So if we were to say local is having a good day equals and I'm just going to paste this again is having a good day equals is computer working and is internet fast. You can kind of see that as a one time function that is run because it returns a value. It gives you back a value of true or false depending upon the result of the equation a function is going to work a lot like that so now we're going to go down here and we're going to change is having a good day to have two parentheses so that we know it's a function and we're going to change this to have two parentheses right here we are calling a function called is having a good day and the beauty of calling a function rather than using a variable is that a function doesn't like save its value it goes through the entire function the entire calculation every single time so now when we print values the first time we'll still get true 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 but after we change is internet fast we should now get true false false rather than what we were getting earlier which was true false true we don't want true false true true false true is not actually correct you're not having a good day once your internet slows down but it still said you were because it only figured out if you were having a good day once it'd be like somebody asking you at 11 o'clock a.m. hey are you having a good day yeah it's been pretty good but you just woke up three hours ago come six o'clock you've had your car crashed it's totaled um, somebody you love is in the hospital some you lost your job your parents lost their job is maybe more relevant to the Roblox community 
Something really terrible could have happened, or all of these terrible things could have all happened at once, for one person in one day, after 11 a.m. Well, if that other person who asked you if you were having a good day came by at 7 o'clock p.m. after all this terrible stuff has happened, and they just kept treating it like, oh, you're having a great day, so I'm going to be this type of person with you today, instead of being like a comforting helpful person they're just going to be like their typical jokester self maybe they're a really sarcastic person and they're not helping but they think you're having a good day because they've only gotten the value once the beauty of a function is that it gets the value and the value can change as in the information relevant to that value changes so this function if that person decided to ask you again and you said no and you told them why they'd be like okay now i'm going to change how i'm going to react a function is the same way. You change some information, it's going to change the way it reacts, and it might even change what it gives you back from the return. I want to note in a moment something about this return. But first, let me... Um, oh, we need to reset. And yes, I want all of the changes in my script to save and run. Here we go. I will highlight again. We have, is computer working equals true? Is internet fast equals true? Is having a good day, parenthesis, parenthesis, equals true? Okay, correct. We ran through the function. Everything worked. Because is computer working is true? Is internet fast is true? And is having a good day should therefore be true? Because I want to illustrate this real quick. All it does is returns the value from this. So is computer working and is internet fast? It's returning that value as if it were just a variable with a value. Then, is computer working equals true? Is internet fast equals false? And here's the key, is having a good day, parenthesis, parenthesis, equals false. That's correct, because it ran through the function and gave us a new value based on the new information. Rather than just storing our value away, it changes itself as the information relevant to it changes. Automatically, it just does it because it goes through the entire thing every time. Now, here's what I wanted to note after I press test and reset this and clear out the output. Okay, here's the thing about returns. Just one quick thing, and I'm going to store this as a variable inside our function, meaning it's scoped within the function. So we're just going to call it local ret, meaning the return value. And we're just going to return ret. There we go. Now it's a little bit more readable. Um, so we're setting a new variable inside the function, so nothing outside of the function can read it. But we made a new variable called ret, and it's set to the same thing as our old is having a good day variable was set to, except this time it changes every time you get it. And now we're returning that, and it gives you a value. Here's the thing if we did this, even though we still have local ret equals is computer working and is internet fast, if I ran this, you'll see that it actually breaks because server script service that script line 11 bad argument to number one to two string value expected. When you don't actually say return, a function doesn't return anything. It's just nil. Nothing comes back from the function. So we're going to put in return red again and everything will work. But if you don't return something from a function, then nothing comes back but nil. And nil can't be two string because it's just it doesn't exist. There's no value. So it if you don't put a return in your function or a return is never reached, then nothing is given back from your function and it doesn't have a value to it. Another thing I want to note is that if I put return true here, see how this is underlined in red? If I hover over it, hold on, come on. Well, it was saying it a moment ago, but I talked too long. Um, it will tell us that, that this code here is never reached. And the reason for that is a function stops it stops in its tracks, dead in its tracks, as soon as it returns a value. 
If you return true, it isn't going to do anything else. There's no reason to do anything else because the function already has the value it is to return. So it's going to return true and it's never going to touch any of this. It's going to act as if it doesn't exist and it's going to stop right there. Another thing is you can return without a value. If you return without a value, it's the same thing as just ending your function without ever returning. It will return nil. There will be no value returned. However, since you used return, it will cut the function wherever you're at. It will stop the function dead in its tracks with no value returned. It will just stop it there. And why is this useful? Well, you could say something such as... Um, no, well, I'm not going to elaborate there because I can't think of anything, but it's useful in many, many ways, and we'll see that in the future in future tutorials. But the fact that you can return from a function and not have it continue past that point, you guys might think that's really stupid, but it's not. Why should a function continue going? That's like you're, going, you're searching for something, okay? Let's say you lost your batteries for your wireless mouse or for your Xbox controller. You don't have any batteries and you lost your batteries. You're going to search until you find them. But once you find them, you return the batteries back to where they need to be. You take some batteries, you put them in your mouse or your Xbox controller, what have you. But you're not going to keep searching. What's the point to continuing to looking around if you've already gotten what you need? Okay, Function's the same. It gets what it needs, it gives it back, it's done. It's lazy. Functions, computers, everything about it is lazy. It only does the minimum work it has to do. And it only does exactly what it's told to do. It will never do more than it's told to do. It will never do less than it's told to do. It will only do what it has to do to get its exactly told job done. You have full control over it. But that's why it will stop when it's returning. Because it wants to just get it over with. It gives you what you need and then it's done. Its job is done, so why should it continue working? It's only taking up space on the computer. Anyway, this has been a fairly long tutorial, but this is the end to re uh, functions. I do want to note just one thing that we'll be going over possibly in future tutorials, probably not in this introduction to scripting, but there are there is a bit more to returns. So when I make the new return um, video for Roblox Lua, which will probably be in an entirely different playlist, different like subcategory, watch it because there's more to this return but what you know now is all you really need and please feel free to ask questions, um, answer other people's questions and go to the forum. Whatever you need, try to learn this return thing because it can help you a lot. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope your computer is working and I hope your internet is fast because I'm hoping that you're having a good day. Have a great day either way, and I will see you guys next time.